Hello, happy Monday. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. I hope that you are ready for a great week and I hope that you are excited to know all of the things that have been so popular with customers that I've been loving and that you might find helpful in the salon. So I'm going to hop right into it and I'm actually gonna turn off the Wi-Fi. hold on. Let's hope that makes it better. I keep getting a notice saying your connection is unstable. So hopefully by going off the Wi-Fi, we won't have any issues. So anyway, thank you for joining me. My name is Sarah. I'm from Magpie Beauty USA. And today I'm by myself. Uh, this time, Rachel, she wasn't with me last time when we did the favorites. So today she is actually on a much needed vacation. So I hope that she is enjoying herself up in the mountains, getting refreshed and ready for all the things. It has been a busy month of July for Magpie Beauty USA. We went all the way to Tennessee and we were at the nail tech event of the Smokies. And if you have never been to Tennessee, to Gatlinburg specifically, it is a trip. It is awesome. It is such a fun place. And on top of that, we get to do the nail expo, which we always love doing nail expos because we get to be with customers, answer live questions, teach in real time, all of these things. So if you have an opportunity to join us at an expo, we love to see you there. Our next expo is the Utah Nail Expo, and that is here in Utah. It's in Provo, Utah, and it is on September 24th. And you can visit utahnailexpo.com for all of the details. But Utah Nail Expo is our final show of the year, and it's always the one you know with the most buildup, and we put out a new display and all of the things. So anyway, if you have never been to a nail expo where we have been, we hope to see you next time. It's a fantastic time. So we are very excited to be prepping for the next expo. Anyway, I am going to be hopping into my favorites, current customer favorites, favorites of products that I have seen in pictures or possibly that have been done here in the salon. So I have a few things floating around and we're just going to hop right into it. First things first are the brand new Get a Grips and Give Me Strengths. I hope everyone's okay. Uh, the brand new Get a Grips and Give Me Strengths. I love them. I cannot get enough of them. I think the colors are beautiful. And in fact, on my client on Friday, we did Cupid because she loves a pink. So Cupid is this beautiful, mm, I'd say you call it a baby pastel pink. It is so pretty on the natural nail. And we but we used on my client, I used both the Get a Grip and the Give Me Strength, which makes for a beautiful overlay. And then over top of that, I put some glitter, which I'm going to share with you. I might as well do it now. So I used Cupid. Then I also used Erin. She's a beauty, but I mixed her with Gabby. Now Gabby is part of the most popular color on the website with customers in general. So Amelia is the most popular, then comes Gabby and then comes Mimi. And they are this beautiful champagne holographic gorgeous. They're just different um, levels of hollow or there's the fine glitter or there is the chunky glitter. Anyway, I mixed Erin and Gabby together and I, with some, give me strength, clear, and I painted that over top of the Cupid. It was stunning. And my client just kept being like, Ooh, look how pretty my nails are. Look how pretty. So anyway, beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, I'm going to, we did an Instagram live last week over on Magpie Beauty USA, and we talked all about the various colors and we did demonstrations and whatnot, but I am going to go through the colors really quickly, just so that you know what it is that we're talking about, the brand new colors. So there is already a get a grip cloud. Now there's a give me strength cloud. Beautiful. And then we have Nougat. This happens to be my most favorite color. It's probably, uh, I would call it a neutral pink. Beautiful, stunning. Then Cupid that I showed you, this beautiful baby pink. Then we have Nudie, which does have a tan, we'll call it tan undertone, tan coloring to it. Then we have Truffle, which is a beautiful, more a deeper tan, but it does have a pink undertone to it. Then we have Bellini, which kind of has a slight orange undertone to it. And then we have Petal. Now Petal is the Give Me Strength. And if you wanted a pair with the Get A Grip, you would choose Get A Grip Peach. So that is the pair that goes with Petal. So these are all beautiful. They can be used just as 
So they're kind of like a magical duo. And we've been talking a lot about them. I know Magpie HQ has been talking a lot about them. We have been talking a lot about them, but together they are a really, really great duo. I do love using Get a Grip on its own as a structure gel, but sometimes my clients need just a little bit more rigid, right? Rather than just this rubber base, they need a little bit more rigid gel to create a strength. And that's where Give Me Strength comes in and they become magical. So if you want to learn more about those, you can reach out to any of our educators, of course, here at Magpie USA HQ. We're always happy to answer your questions and help in any way, but I would suggest taking a class if you can. So reach out to one of our educators here in the States and they will happily help you with this magical duo of get a grip and give me strength. Okay, enough about those, but those are the newbies. They are fantastic. So moving on to a couple of favorite gel colors. So one I'm wearing, this happens to be my most favorite gel color of all time. I love, love, love it. It's a red, but it has a pink undertone. This is called watermelon -y. And I just think it's beautiful on all skin tones. Here's the swatch so that you can see it, not on my nails. It is fantastic. I love it in the summertime. I love it in the wintertime. I love it at Valentine's Day. Watermelony, one of my top faves. I love, love, love it. The other color I wanted to talk about is Jazzy Joe. Jazzy Joe is this awesome, how would you explain it? I mean, it's a bright blue, maybe a bright cobalt blue. And this color is just so stunning. It's stunning on toes, it's stunning on nails, it's stunning in nail art. I mean, when you pair Watermelony and Jazzy Joe together. I mean, what a great summertime manicure. Um, but apart, they are fantastic. Uh, I actually took that color off of my client who I then put on Cupid. So I love, love, love Jazzy Joe and Watermelony. Those are some favorites. Um, I already told you about the combination of Aaron and Gabby. They are beautiful. So if you are somebody who is new to dry, working with dry glitters, I would suggest visiting over onto our Instagram page. Uh, we have talked a lot about glitters and application of glitters. When we do our Monday lives, glitter is usually part of them. Uh, not all of them, so you might have to hunt a little, but um, you can also find the Instagram lives over on our YouTube. So that might be an easier place to be able to dive in. We do a lot of educating, we do a lot of teaching as far as how to apply the products. So by combining the two with Get A Grip or uh, Give Me Strength Clear, I was able to just paint it on. It went on very smooth. I didn't have to uh, worry about pouring them or whatever. So you can make a paint out of your glitters. Don't be afraid to try different application methods. The next thing I wanna talk about is actually, I saw Rachel do this on a client on Friday. I want to say on Friday, the client requested Coco Cabana, which this color is absolutely summer in a bottle. It is gorgeous. It is this sherbet orange, fantastic, beautiful, bright summertime Coco Cabana. It's perfect, right? So Rachel put this on her client's bees nails. Then on these two, she per she put Forget Me or Not. And then she kind of feathered up just on the edges some Coco Cabana. On top of it, she put a combination of Flora and Eve. So she combined these with Give Me Strength and painted it on. And then she did a fade. So it was kind of like a French fade. It was one of those hand grabbing moments. Like, let me see that. That is so pretty. It was just so, it felt so summertime. It felt so pretty. So summer isn't dead. Summer isn't over. Not quite. We're not moving into fall yet, even though everybody keeps talking about Halloween's only 100 days away and all that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not forget we get to have beautiful manicures with summertime color still for a few more weeks, right? So that was such a beautiful combination. Again, the glitters were Flora and Eve, and the gel color was Coco Cabana. Mwah. And then Forget Me or Not was on the French manicure ones. Okay, two more summer times. I am getting to a really good one. I'm almost there. Actually, all of these are good. Don't let me mis misspeak, but I know something that is very popular. So I'm getting to that in just a second. But Ava and Freya, these two beauties are gorgeous, gorgeous. These were just released in the cutie collection this year. And I feel like 
over that Coco Cabana, you could just, instead of creating the fade or creating all of those things, you could just simply pat on Ava and it would be stunning. It would be absolutely gorgeous. And then Freya, you can put Freya over a color or you could sprinkle Freya just onto a clear layer. And she's gonna give, if she's on a clear layer, it's gonna have um, a slight sheer effect to it. But if you were to put it over something like Breakfast at Tiffany's or Aquamarina, something like that, it's gonna have more depth behind it. But either way, Freya is a winner. It's just this beautiful, I would call it a pastel teal if I had to, but pastel I just feel is indicative of springtime and not summertime, but I'm telling you, gorgeous. In fact, I think I want this one at Christmas time because wouldn't that be beautiful with a red? Then it has that Tiffany feel. So Tiffany made, Tiffany the brand made that teal and red combination popular a few years ago. It's still popular every winter. I love it. So anyway, maybe this will be my teal I choose this year. Gorgeous. Okay. Next up is Otis. Otis is an oldie but a goodie. And he is a champagne holographic. Check out that hollow. This is a foil. And foils are very easy to use, very fun to use. This one transfers very easily just to a sticky layer. Or if you wanted to have it be a full nail, you would just put on some Magpie Full Foiled, give it a full 60 second cure. I did learn a tip about Full Foiled. If you want your Full Foil gel to be incredibly sticky, say you have a foil that doesn't transfer super easily. I'm trying to remember the one that I used from our line and it didn't, it didn't want to let go of the paper. Jasper? No. I can't remember exactly. Anyway, it didn't want to let go. And I was like, how do I make it really just all of it let go? I learned a trick. You need to let that hand be in the, under the light for two minutes, even three minutes. It's going to give you this wickedly sticky gel. So the longer you cure it, the more sticky it becomes and the easier your foil will transfer. So use that next time if you're like, why won't this particular foil transfer? Give that a try. All right, on to the very popular, we've seen them everywhere. If you haven't seen them, maybe you live under a rock. I'm not sure, but we are talking about the donut nails. I'm not even sure why they're being called donut nails because it doesn't feel very donut-like to me, but uh, Haley Bieber apparently I don't know. I don't follow her. I don't, I've never seen this post. Anyway, she must have had chrome nails. And so then everybody is going wild for chrome nails. And luckily, Magpie has you covered because we have got some of the best chromes ever. And we have a wide range. I hope that you can see the colors. I'm going to put it up there one more time and look at the camera. Okay, you can. You can see the different colors that each iridescent chrome gives. So you get to have colored donut nails, donut nails. It's funny. Anyway, I am going to go through each one and tell you these are the sheer chromes. Now we have chromes that are not sheer. We have fully pigmented chromes. We have semi-sheer chromes and then we have sheer chromes. So when we're working with donut nails, you're going to want to choose a sheer chrome because you want that pastel or, or pale feel behind it. So you don't want to cover up the entire nail with a color, right? You want to have um, some sheerness behind it. So first up is Jenny. She kind of has a pink orange hue. Think of all the combinations that you could have with this. Gorgeous. And I am not going to go through how to apply chromes, but I promise that Rachel and I have gone through chromes many, many times. I think we've done one here inside of the app or of course over on Instagram when we do our Instagram lives on Monday. Uh, we definitely have covered Chrome in depth and we will continue to do so because Chrome is always an evolution. Uh, it's something that people are always wondering about and wondering how to do. So here is Shelly. She is one of the original uh, sheer chromes. She reflects or, uh, kind of a yellow and a green. She's perfect over oranges, like over Coco Cabana is probably my favorite color underneath of her, but you could always put um, fresh as a daisy. Now, let me back up just a little bit. When we're talking about the donut nails, you want to have, say, you'll put on one of these colored bases with their gimme strengths and then go over it with the chrome. Or if you wanted it to be all white, you could use cloud. You could go in with 
cloud as your base and use fresh as a daisy as your color. Uh, and that's just really gonna give you that beautiful sheer milky white. And then you could go in with one of these sheer chromes. So the possibilities really are endless. The other day, Rachel, I wanna say she used cloud and then she put a layer of come what may, which is a sheer pink. And then she went over it with one I haven't spoken about yet. And it was beautiful. There was that sheer pink behind it, that like that wash of sheer pink with this beautiful silver hue over top stunning stunning so you can really have a play with what's underneath of these beautiful sheer crumbs so Shelly has always been a major favorite the next major favorite would be Pandora this is also one of the original sheer crumbs Pandora is a pink blue um, iridescent and if you were to put this over a black color this is just for your knowledge but if you were to put this over a black color you would have a red so it's pretty fun to use. Um, and because they are sheer and iridescent, you can really have a play with how they turn out. But over a white or over a pink or over something like that, it's really gonna give you a cool effect for your donut nails. Um, Anona has been wildly popular with customers lately. And you can see that it is reflecting a beautiful amount of pink. There is some blue in there, gorgeous. Then we have Danielle who has a purple hue. Then we have Juniper, who's gonna have a green hue. I don't know that I would put that for donut nails because I wouldn't eat green frosting, but <laughs> to each his own. And the last one, this is the one that I was talking about that Rachel did, where she used cloud as the base. And then she went in with, I wanna say that it was come what may, but it might have been cloud as the base and then Cupid with the give me strength. And then, but because it, it had enough pink hue to shine through Bridie. So Bridie is gonna give you that silver hue over top. So if you were to put this over a white, it's really gonna have a silver, beautiful silver cast. And I don't mean like, like a glittery silver. I mean like it just has this sheen of silver. It's beautiful. But she put it over and you could see through the pink. Um, again, I think it was come what may or it might've been Cupid because it had a little bit more pink. So that's why I'm thinking maybe it was Cupid. Anyway, stunning. It was gorgeous. Um, always, we love, 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 don't be tacky for Chrome because it works every single time. Love, love, love it. However, don't be tacky has been discontinued. So whatever we have on the website is what you can purchase. Uh, and then you would move on to top it off, which is a fantastic um, top coat. It does self-level. It's don't be tacky with silicone. So it's n it's a little bit thicker. It doesn't run as quickly. Um, it's a little bit more forgiving. So top it off is a chrome top coat. I haven't used it myself because I'm using up the last of my don't be tacky. I haven't used it for chrome. I should say I've used it as a top coat. It's a beautiful top coat, but I haven't used it for chrome yet. <clears throat> However, I know that it does work because again, it's the same thing as don't be tacky just with a little bit of silicone to make it thicker and a little less runny. So anyway, I think that goes through all of my favorites or customer favorites or current things that I have been inspired by. I hope that today's live has been helpful for you. You can find all of these products here inside of the Magpie USA app. Uh, you can always follow us over on Instagram, Magpie Beauty USA. We do Insta or education between the two. So it's every other week. So next week's live will be over inside of the app at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And we hope that you will join us. And until then, we hope you have a great week. Bye.